Hey there, Nappy here, and today we will be taking a look at the top 10 candidates in the Lost Island Creature Vote taking place until July 30th over on SurviveTheArc.com. Less than a week to go, so be sure to head over there and cast your vote for the next Ark Creature. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe, go ahead and click that bell to get notified when I upload new content or go live, and if at any time you find yourself enjoying this video, go ahead and drop a like down below. I'm Nappy, this is my intro. Not very long cut to the video. In the latest community crunch over on survivetheark.com, you will find the link to the top 10 creatures. Go ahead and click this, and it'll take you to the next page where you can see the current standings with the Dinopithecus, as well as the Carcarodontosaurus in a very strong lead. Now let's go ahead and take a look at each of the individual creatures. The first nominee is the recently discovered Sinomacrops. This resembles the modern day flying squirrel or bat and also shares the same diet of insects. Not really sure how useful this would be on the arcs or what utility it would provide, but it's absolutely adorable. Next up is the Dinopithecus. This creature resembles the modern day baboon and some of the requested abilities are wall climbing, weight reduction, zip lining, and the ability to carry weapons like the mantis. Moving on, we have the Ceratosaurus. This is very similar in size to the Carnotaurus, and personally, I don't believe the Arcs need yet another theropod. Here we have the Enostrancevia, or the Gorgonops. This is similar in size and shape to the Mosschops, its distant relative, although the Gorgonops sports rather large saber-tooth-like canine teeth which would probably rip the Mosschafts to shreds. Straight out of Herman Melville's Moby Dick, we have the giant sperm whale, Leviathan. Not much to say about this, it's a giant whale, much like the lead Cichthys, although maybe this one would be a little more predatorial and attack us in the ocean. Those of you living in Europe or the Americas are probably familiar with the next nominee, Bison Latifrons. And that's what it is, a bison. Not really sure how this would vary much from the woolly rhino we currently have, but who knows. Sliding into the next slot is the semi-aquatic submission, the Tanistrophius. Similar in appearance to the Plesiosaur, but with the ability to travel on land for a brief amount of time, the Tanistrophius could be used as an organic fishing pole by giving it fish corpses to use as bait. In the final three, we have Yiki. Another late Jurassic glider, although unlike the Archaeopteryx, this has wings much more like a bat or a pterosaur than the feathered ones of the Archaeopteryx. Second to last, we have the Suchomimus. This fits in nicely between the Spinosaurus and the Baryonyx, and although I said I think we have plenty of theropods, I feel like the Spinosaurids that are currently in Ark are underused and would gladly welcome a third. Last up on the list is the Carcharodontosaurus. This is basically a Giganotosaurus meets a Megalosaurus. If you ever wanted anything like an Indominus Rex in-game, this would be it. Now head over to SurviveTheArc.com and cast your vote before time's up. And don't forget to keep on surviving. As always, thanks for watching. You can go ahead and check out my latest video down below. More Arc Made Easy over on the left. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel down in the corner, and I'll see you in the next one.